This is Joe, a brand new customer support rep at Bits and Bytes Software. Joe starts his day by going into the Team Support app and checking out his dashboard. He's customized his dashboard so he can see his new, open, and unassigned tickets quickly and easily. Uh-oh. The website over at A Plus Productions is down, so Mary, one of Joe's customers, uses her customer portal to create a ticket. This automatically creates a ticket in Team Support, and when Joe clicks on it, he sees that this is a very important customer. Since Joe is new, he doesn't know the answer and needs some help from the team, so he posts it on the Water Cooler, a powerful internal social networking tool that allows conversations between Team Support users. Beth answers right away, and Joe inputs the response into the ticket by logging in action, so customer Mary can see it in her portal right away. This is Mark. He uses Bits and Bytes software to manage his online files, but he just found out the Add button isn't working. He sends an email to support, which automatically creates a ticket. Joe, the customer support agent, sees the ticket appear in his dashboard and clicks on it. He immediately sees a notification that Beth is already looking at the same ticket. Since Joe is aware of this issue, he starts a quick chat with Beth using the internal chat feature in the water cooler and takes ownership of the ticket. This issue is actually a system-wide bug that's currently being worked on, so Joe makes Mark's ticket a child of the parent ticket and changes the ticket type to bug fix. He responds to Mark that they are aware of the issue and working to resolve it as quickly as possible. When the development team fixes the bug, they update the parent ticket by logging in action and closing it. Now everyone who has an open ticket connected to this bug fix sees the updated response. Mark gets an email noting the bug fix along with the agent rating screen. He rates the agent as good and continues on with his day, very happy with bits and bytes. It's the middle of the night, and Amy has a question for Bits and Bytes. She logs into the customer portal and starts an offline chat about how to set reminders. Since no support rep is available, a ticket is created on her behalf. The ticket is automatically assigned to the group training because Bits and Bytes set ticket automation to recognize this type. Beth in the training group sees the ticket takes ownership, and uses Team Support's built-in screen recording feature to show how to set up reminders. Since this is a common request, she creates a knowledge base article for future reference. Three weeks later, Bob at A Plus Productions goes into the Bits and Bytes portal and opens a new ticket asking how to set reminders. When he starts typing, the ticket deflection feature automatically suggests a topic from the knowledge base. He opens it, and sure enough, the steps are laid out, and there's even a video showing how to create reminders. Problem solved, and he didn't even have to create a ticket. This is George, a customer support manager at a software company. He uses team support to help reduce duplication, improve ticket resolution time, and understand his customers better. George customized his dashboard to show his data in easy-to-read chart formats. For example, he likes to see open tickets by group and source. Since George's responsibilities include increasing customer satisfaction, he wants to create a new report showing which customers are at risk based on the Customer Distress Index. He goes to his report section, clicks Create, and builds his tabular report by naming it, selecting the primary table, the fields he wants to see, and then choosing to show active customers only. It's easy to sort by highest CDI showing which companies are most at risk based on five metrics that he previously set up. He adds the report to his dashboard and positions it for easy reference. Even from the dashboard, George can go to any customer record to see recent tickets, CDI, what products they're using, and any other customer data. Next, he creates a pie chart report to show him open tickets in his department by severity. He adds this chart and positions it on his dashboard. 
Finally, since George is evaluated on the efficiency of his support department, he can get these metrics by looking at agent performance, ticket resolution, and agent ratings. He exports these charts for inclusion in the monthly summary he sends to his boss.